I would like to talk to you about the highest form of obedience biblically, and that is to forgive others. It can be very difficult to forgive others if they hurt you deeply, but God calls us to do that. He says, forgive as you have been forgiven, Colossians 3.13. So forgiveness is very much against our human nature. When someone hurts us, we want either to strike back at them or to cut off the relationship. But God calls us to apply the work of Jesus to this. As God has forgiven me, and he's forgiven me a lot, I should forgive others. The parable of the unforgiving servant in the book of Matthew gives us lots of information on this. He, the servant owed the king uh, 10,000 talents, which today, in today's money, would be $400 million. The servant couldn't pay it back. So the, and he asked for more time. Well, why, where could a servant get $400 million to pay the king back? So the king had mercy on him and forgave it. Then that servant went out and found somebody, another servant who had borrowed $3,000 amount from him. And he demanded the money back. The other servant said, give me time. He said no, and he threw him in prison until he could pay that amount. Now when the other servants heard about this, they told the king. And the king called in the first servant and said, I forgave you this much. Could you not forgive your fellow servant that much? And then the king said, I am going to throw you into prison until you pay the last cent of this, and I'm going to turn you over to the torturers. And then Jesus makes this amazing statement at the end of that. He says, And my father will do the same to you if you do not forgive your brother from the heart. That means that God will turn us over to the torturers. But think about that. If you don't forgive somebody, especially for a deep hurt, you become bitter, you become angry, you become impatient, and the people around you will suffer from that. You may you may have to get a divorce. You may lose your family. You may lose your job. You may lose your income because you have not forgiven. Uh, at least, at the very least, you will have a lack of peace in your life and be stressed a lot. So, um, when we remember how much God has forgiven us, then we can forgive those who have hurt us. Now, I will say that forgiveness is not an act, a one-time thing. It is a process. So, you forgive the person. Lord, I forgive this person for this he sin he committed against me, even though it hurt a lot, as you have forgiven me, I forgive him. Now the next day, you think about that person and that, that pain comes back. Well, then you say again, Lord, as you have forgiven me, I have forgiven this person. And you keep doing that. It, that is a salve on a wound that is slowly healing. And with time, it will get better. Now I had a brother who hurt me and my family so deeply I had to forgive him every morning for eight years before I came up to zero in my emotions. And after that, I was able to bring some health to the relationship, and we ended up on a very, very good basis where he was basically my best friend before he died. If I had not forgiven him, I could not have done that. I would have been caught up in my anger, my bitterness, my negativeness. And in, but instead, I was free, free to love, free to think. If we don't forgive a person, he or she actually controls us because every time we think of them, we're upset. Uh, they don't know they're controlling us, but even if they're dead, they control us like that. But if we forgive, we cut the, the chain that ties us to that person and we're set free. Now, <clears throat> that, the last thing I want to say is that God has two purposes in forgiveness. Number one, it honors him because we're obeying his word. Number two, it frees us. And as a result of us being free, it frees up God then to work in the other person and bring them to repentance. So forgiveness, the highest form of obedience, I encourage you to participate in it.